Hello from Beer Australia Reviews and today we will be sampling, tasting and reviewing another one of those uh, huge brands and this time it is Carlton Draft. Yeah, but it's the equal top selling beer uh, in Australia along with VB. Now, um, it's obviously from the Carlton Group, it's obviously a very mass produced beer um, and I have been critical of the Carlton Group beers uh, several times because I just don't think they put a lot of um, energy into making the beers. Um, I also don't think they um, do much with the water that comes straight out of the tap in Melbourne by the by the, um, the taste of things. Um, but here we are, we're, we're having a look at the, um, at the Carlton Draft. Uh, now if you have a look on the websites you don't get much um, information about Carlton Draft. They obviously don't take a lot of pride in what they do because they don't tell you where they source the water, uh, what sort of um, grain and what sort of hops go into this one. Uh, the only thing that I could actually find that was any information about the beer uh, is in the history of the thing and it says the, uh, the beer uh, was brewed since 1864 and it was designed to be lighter than a European beer and more suited to drinking in the Australian heat. Well, I can definitely tell you about the Australian heat today because in Perth, Western Australia, it's touched 39 degrees centigrade today. Uh, so luckily enough, I've been sitting in with the air conditioning on, but I've had to turn it off uh, because it's right next to the microphone and you couldn't hear a word I said if I still had the air conditioning off. Uh, so we'll get through this one as quick as possible. So let's get this one um, out of the fridge and let's see. Um, oh. VB fridge, I should have got a Carlton fridge, shouldn't I? Now uh, move that one back out the way so you can see the fridge. Uh, and here it is, Carlton Draft. Now, I have tried this before once or twice. Um, I can't remember the last time I tried this thing. Uh, but since then, I've drank a lot of craft uh, beers and things. And it's just like, I just wouldn't be going for this one anymore, to be honest. However, here I am. And um, in uh, for science, um, for for the team, I'm gonna drink a bottle of Carlton Draft. So, mm, wish me luck. Oh no, it's a, it's it's gonna be it's not gonna need that. Is it? it's gonna be a twisty. Oh, there we go. It's a twisty. Now, generally speaking, all of these beers that come from the Carlton Group, like um, like your VB your Fosters, even like your Asahi, and um, what else do they do? Great Northern, oh, I've still not tasted the Great Northern, but I've not heard great things about it. Pure Blondes, Pure Blondes is about the best one of these sort of um, Carlton beers that I've actually tried, that was okay, uh, nothing special, but you know, it's it's a reasonable beer, it's, it's Pure Blonde. So, yeah, let's see what that one looks like. Uh, again, it's one of these beers that looks really good in the, in the glass. It's got a sparkle to it. It's got a nice little bit of a, a head to it. And if you, like I say, on the website it says it was brewed for uh, a lighter style in Australia uh, to be drunk in the Australian climate. So on a hot day like today, Perth, 39 degrees centigrade is, a, is definitely a hot day, no matter which way you, um, uh, you measure the thing. Uh, but, okay, let's give this one a try, see what it's like. It smells like a, an ordinary basic lager. It's um, it doesn't smell anything like uh, unusual, what you wouldn't expect. It, it it is what you would would expect to get. Now, is this going to be better than the VB? Uh, better than the Emu Draft I tried recently, or the Fosters? Let's hope it's got more flavour than the Fosters. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's give it a go. It smells like a, a, a basic Australian lager. It's not as nice as the emu. It's slightly more bitter than the emu. Uh, it does have more character than the Fosters, but oh, I can taste the I can taste the Melbourne water. The fact that I can taste the Melbourne water in this, it, I can taste the Melbourne water more than in the VB. And more than in any of the other sorts of Carlton products, um, I've had like the Asahi's, uh, Asahi even recently, um, the, the VB, I think the VB is a superior beer to the Carlton. Uh, VB is nothing special, but it's better than this, but I would prefer an Emu over a VB and definitely over a Carlton Draft. 
Let's see if I can get any any sort of um, any sort of character from this thing. It's a bit rough. There's no sort of um, lagery sort of a citrus on there. I think they've been going for a bitter style of beer. Um, so it's sort of in the same sort of style as like an English bitter, but not one of the real ale type bitters because it's nothing like a, a real ale. I, it's obviously had some hops that go in, uh, into the thing at the very start. Whether or not it's had, um, it will never have had actual whole hops. May have had hop pellets, but I think probably it's had some sort of a hop extract. And what sort of grains did they make this from? Did they make it from whole grains, or did they make this one from malt extract? I don't know. Uh, so th there's not a lot of malt in this one. The taste what is in there is a little bit harsh. And... Right. Despite the fact the Foster's has no flavour and no character whatsoever, I would probably have a Foster's before I would have a Carlton Draft. Uh, so I, I actually don't know why uh, this is like a top-selling beer. I, I don't know why people drink this one in the same level as VB, um, or, or in the same numbers across Australia as VB, because it's it's not as good. It's quite a disappointing beer. <laughs> um, so, uh, right, let's just see if there's anything actually on the um, on the bottle that gives us anything more of a clue about. Oh god, there's tiny weeny writing on this thing. Um, brewed fresh. I can't read the writing on that. There is some tiny little writing, like millimetre high writing on the thing. So there's uh, there's nothing on the website that tells you anything about this beer. Uh, it tells you when it was made. It tells you who the um, the brewers were back in the um, in the 19th century. Uh, when they when they uh, at the start of the 20th century, all of the brewers in the Carlton and Melbourne area seem to have um, joined together and um, into a conglomerate. Now, uh, I wish I could go back and sample the beers then and see whether they were actually any better than what they are now. Uh, I, I wish we could have more traditional beers the way they used to be made and not just the mass-produced things because I, I just suspect that this thing is just made right down to a price uh, still sold at... A, it's it's booed to a really low price they still sell it at a higher price at the same sort of price as sort of more flavoursome uh, higher quality beers I know that's partly down to the Australian duty and things so I, I get that I think this is an exercise in maximising profits over anything else. I, I, I wish they would try some real ale. I wish they would go to the UK, take a tour of some of the real ale pubs and just sample real ale and come back and, and taste this because there's a, a big difference. Uh, there's, a, there's a big difference between the craft beers that are being made around Australia. There are lots of breweries around Australia who are making really high quality products, putting efforts in and making things up to a quality rather than down to a price so i i, I just I, I i can't recommend carlton um it's a hot day it's been 39 degrees so in the um uh in the australian tradition i will finish the thing off but yeah um there we go the, this is me carlton draft from uh victoria since 1864 i think that was when they they, they must have extracted the water from the well and it's been sitting there ever since anyway <laughs> sorry for bashing them but hey it's not that quality of beer anyway thanks for watching